to the cloud. And then I go to here. And then I go uh, live custom streaming. And then it kicks over. And I just got to make sure I'm done right here. Okay, it's nothing yet. Should be coming in a second, folks. There's Walter's page. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I hope I got them all running here. Okay. It's being live streamed. So let's double check the connection here. It takes a second for it to show up. There we are. So welcome, everybody. Welcome to uh, Prayer for the Nations, Prayer for America, Prayer for Canada, because they've got a couple of Canadians, well, three, well, two and a half. Marge, but uh, <laughs> welcome to the prayer meeting, uh, the sharing today, and uh, just anything that you have, uh, give it to the Lord. He is faithful. We were just talking about that off camera before we started. The living word. This is a living word, and things like every day you open it up, and there's something new, something you didn't see before. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, and and he will direct your paths, you know, ask him for guidance and he will give you the guidance. The Holy Spirit is a comforter and he's a guider. So um, before you go any further, which I'm doing right now, is share this with other folks, because maybe you, you're blessed and all that, but it's such more blessing at somebody else. And that's what we prayed for before we started, that Lord, touch those people who will listen to this, touch the people who may listen to this because this is being recorded. And then, you know, the, the, there's no time with the Lord. It could be today, tomorrow, whatever. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so whatever we share these things, it's going to touch somebody. And that's our faith. And that's our faith in trusting in God, that he is a faithful God, and he will provide for us, and he will heal us and deliver us. So as as you listen in on today's uh, sharing, that uh, think of you, God is talking to you personally. We're Talking about this um, earlier, uh, if I can quickly interject, and I'll let you folks share. Um, John there, I was just talking about a, a, a word that I was reading in John uh, 10, uh, tw 3 and 10, 29. John, the St. John, the fourth gospel. Hey, if you guys need somewhere to start in the Bible, because I know it looks big, start with the gospel of John. You know, if you not receive Christ, then this is the time to do it. And we will pray for you to receive him. But, you know, just listen in and let the word soak into you. But John 10... Uh, chapter 10, verse 3 says, he knows his sheep by name. So God knows you by name. I mean, is that not a blessing? You're not a number. You're not just another Christian. God knows you by name. If he knows all the stars, then obviously he knows us. And so that, and then John 29, uh, John 10, 20, uh, verse 29, that he's a good shepherd and he will not allow anybody to be plucked out of his hand. So God has got his hand around you. It's a mind warfare that Satan will says, you know, God doesn't care about you or you're just insignificant. That's not true. God cares for you and he will he will keep you in his hand. You need to just hold on to him. So that's my sharing for today. I'll let the <laughs> but um yeah, just this look to the good shepherd and uh and Proverbs there. If you need some wisdom, I'm going through there's 31 chapters in, in Proverbs, so I'm going through a chapter a day because it really fits. And uh, every time it says, my son, attend to my words, hear my, bind these to your heart. So take the words that you're hearing today and bind them to your heart. And God will, you just be, uh, you'll be blessed to see how good God is. So I'm really privileged today. I mean, it's my privilege to fill in for Brother Walter and Nina. We're, we're going to pray for them. The Lord keep them and their families. But uh, this lovely couple there, Tony and Marge Abram from down south in Alabama. And then uh, my lovely, oh, guest appearance by my lovely wife, Bev. She's up at the, the lake and I'm down here at home having to do all this hard stuff about ministering and sharing stuff. But uh, enjoy your time there, dear. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Brother uh, Tony and March, you guys got something to share? Go for it. Uh, thank you, Lord, for the blessings. Yes, Brother Tom and Sister Bev, it's so good to be with you and see you again. It's been a while since we saw you last and we thank the Lord for the ministry he's given you that you are sharing the word on Zoom or all the other means that you are sharing with others. And today we're so happy to join you and to share with you. And I was reading uh, as we were talking about the word, Brother Tom. Yes, it's forever settled in heaven. There's nothing more precious than the word of God for it lives and abides forever. It will abide forever. And though heaven and earth pass away, yet he said, my word 
word will never pass away. And so I, I'd like to just read a few verses from Deuteronomy 31. And this is uh, taken place when Moses was 120 years old. He had led the children of Israel as God had called him to, but he realized his time was coming to an end and God had told him he would not pass into the promised land because of his disobedience when he struck the rock instead of speaking to the rock. And, uh, and God spoke to him. And I just want to read a few verses in that chapter 31. And it says in verse five, the Lord will deliver them to you and you must do to them all that I have commanded you to the enemy to destroy the enemy, to take the promised land. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord, your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Then Moses summoned Joshua and said to him in the presence of all Israel, he was to be the new leader, the younger leader. Mm -hmm. Be strong and courageous. You, For you must go with this people into the land that the Lord swore to their ancestors to give them. And you must divide it among them as their inheritance. The Lord himself himself goes before you and will be with you he will never leave you nor forsake you do not be afraid do not be discouraged Amen. and that's what the lord's saying to us do not be afraid when we go to speak Amen. to someone or someone in authority or or we're ministering to people do not be afraid whether they'll accept it or not just do as the lord leads you if, if he leads you to deal with someone about their soul just Feel free to do it and do not be discouraged. Do not be afraid for the Lord and be courageous for the mm -hmm. Lord is with you. And he's telling us today, he is with us. Do not be discouraged. Be encouraged today as uh, mm -hmm. they encourage themselves. David encouraged himself in the Lord. He encouraged himself. So today we say, the Lord is with me. He's with you, Brother Tom. He's with you, Thank Sister you. Bev. He's with you, my husband. He's with me. He's with all of you that are listening today. He yeah. said, I'll never leave you. How, how could we ever think that the Lord would leave us, leave us when he lives and abides in our hearts? He lives yeah. inside of us. His spirit lives within our spirit. Hallelujah. But so today, I would just encourage you to be encouraged in the Lord. To not be discouraged, to look to Jesus. Don't look at your circumstances. Amen. Look at Jesus, who's yes. the author and finisher of our faith. And it's wonderful to know that we can walk and talk with him. I like this song, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Praise the Lord. And uh, it's good to be here. Uh, on the on the broadcast with uh, Tom and Bev, whom we've known for a number of years, we miss uh, Walter and Nina, of yeah. course, too. And but uh, Monday is not our normal day being here, anyways. But it's good to see Tom and Bev, and and uh, uh, when we share, of course, we've got to watch that we both don't talk at the same time uh, because it, it interferes and nobody hears what we're saying and. Uh, but uh, it's wonderful to have Tom because he is a, he's a good engineer. He's he does so much. Yeah. He does so much for us and mm -hmm. our ministries. And Bev and, also. We thank uh, you, Bev, uh, too. The, the global Vision. Uh, and uh, it, uh, uh, it, it's just wonderful. And Prayer for the Nations is, is a wonderful ministry because it's reaching out to so many people. And uh, with, on the different platforms, that it's going out and it's been recorded and people are being blessed. And the te and the, and the request, testimonies come in, yes, and requests come. Even before uh, uh, I came in and turned on the computer and so forth to connect uh, with Tom, uh, I uh, had requests come in. One brother with uh, dying with cancer and, mm -hmm. and uh, someone else with brain cancer. And uh, that cancer seems to be such a curse. Yeah. Uh, here in these last days, but we have to do what we have to do, and well, one of the things we need to do is pray and believe. For with God, all things are possible. And sometimes, you know, in our Christian, I, I was going to share this later, but I think I'll go ahead and share it now. And uh, uh, 
we uh, we sometimes have to do things we don't want to do or care to do. I remember Marge and I in India a number of years ago. This was quite a few years ago. And uh, here uh, a minister came, a young uh, Indian minister who lived out in the country, but not that far away, he said. And of course, you got to be careful when they said it's not far because we had to walk or I had to walk. We, well, we, you went with me, yeah. yes. Uh, so we were going to walk out to pray for his mother. And uh, I told him that he could pray, but he said, oh, Brother Tony, if you only come and, and pray. And I didn't want to do it. And here he said it was a short way. And so I'm, we're walking and it's tropical and hot and humid. And you got to watch for uh, cobras, snakes. Because mm -hmm. I remember the one place we stayed in that they had to chase seven cobras out of the bedroom uh, before we could get there to sleep. And uh, uh, anyways, we're walking through the jungles there. And I'm thinking, he said it just a short way. And we're walking half hour past them, almost an hour before we finally get to this uh, little village and and we go to pray for his mother. And, and inside, I'm thinking, why am I doing all this? I don't feel like doing this. And uh, just complaining inside, not saying anything out loud. And um, so I walk in, I had to kind of duck down a little bit, get in there, and there in the corner was this, this Indian woman, just sh older woman, just shaking and trembling. Uh, and I and then I come over to her, and I looked at her because they wanted me to pray, and I and then it came to me, this could be my mother, this could be my mother who's suffering like this, and I'd want somebody to come and pray for her, and before I tried to minister to that Indian woman that was lying there, <laughs> I, uh, I I I repented. I actually repent. I said, God, forgive me for having such an attitude, such a uh, such a feeling in my spirit. And I, I repented and asked God to forgive me. And then I talked to this woman. I didn't talk long because I his son had to translate. And, and then I prayed for her and laid hands on her. And the shaking quit. But she, of course, she was still laying there. And we went out, and they were drying out tapioca. Now, I like tapioca. Okay. Last night, uh, matter of fact, for dessert, we had ta I had tapioca. Yeah, I had, the, I had what was left, <laughs> uh, the tapioca pudding. And I like it. But it, drying out, oh, it smells. A bad smell. <laughs> I didn't like the smell. Anyways, I wanted to get a photograph or two. And, of course, that's back. Not what I, they're like you're walking around with, yeah. a, a, uh, with, oh, with yeah. a phone and taking <laughs> pictures. Uh, just back up a little bit. I remember the first time I seen a phone taking pictures. We were in Japan, and we had just finished uh, the morning meetings. And, and we were, the whole church went, well, most of the church, went to this place to eat by the water. And uh, I remember afterwards, uh, the, there must have been at least about 75 or 50, at least, of uh, young people, uh, younger ones. Uh, of course, when you get older, everybody looks young to you. And here they are all lined, uh, lined up to take Marge and I's picture. And uh, so by the water, and I'm looking why they're all taking their phones out. And I said, what are they doing? The first time I had seen oh. a, 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 a phone take a picture. Anyways, uh, uh, that they was get my... The technology first. <laughs> yeah, they, they had the that. technology first yeah. for that. Anyways, here, here I am with my 35 millimeter camera. And I had Marge standing with uh, a couple of folks by the... Tapioca pudding drying on that uh, on the ground. In India, yeah. yeah, in India, and uh, and I was taking a picture, and and all of a sudden they began to s stare and say and shout, and they were pointing their finger, and I thought, oh dear Lord, behind me it must be a tiger coming out of the bush, it must be a tiger, 
And and they and Marge says, turn and Tony, turn and look. And I looked, and here coming, walking behind me was this minister's mother. God had healed her. And she walked out. And 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 I, then I began to ponder on that. Sometimes we do things, God wants us to do things we don't necessarily want to do. Things that we think, oh, this is a bad situation. But all things work together for good. Getting out of our comfort zone, right? All things work together for good to those that love God or called by God. And that's Romans 8, 28. And, 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 and as we do that, the reward, when you do things that you don't feel like doing to bless somebody, <laughs> hallelujah. It's like, I, I remember times when I'm down to my last, I love, like in England, last, uh, what was it, 10 shillings, that was years ago. And the mm -hmm. Lord spoke to me to give. And I didn't want to give, but I gave. And God multiplied that in the next few minutes by 10 times by a stranger walking in off the street and handing it to me. Praise the Lord. So it pays to obey God uh, to, to do what he wants us to do. Even if we don't feel like doing it, do it. And do it with all your might. And God will bless you. And Tony, remember that mo mother wanted to be in the picture too. She felt. Oh well yes, enough. yes. She right. said, "They said, just wait. She wants to get in on the picture too." <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it healed her. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. And uh, of course, we're going to hear from Sister Bev. Uh, and Bev, it's good to see you uh, here. And I, uh, I know that uh, uh, Tom is missing you, or is he missing being up at the? <laughs> okay, Bev. Hi, Brother Tony and Sister Marge. Thank you for um, asking. And uh, yeah, Tom and I are switching off. He just spent three days here. Oh. And I was home. And now he's home and I'm here. Yeah. It, but you know what you're saying about sacrifice? God is blessing our time and i am so blessed to have a husband who is treating my dad like gold mm. and um i appreciate you tom and my dad does too sometimes he um well he doesn't know the lord yet but yeah, i believe he's seeing god through us because that's what god wants to do is to use us to minister to him when uh, Marge, when you were sharing, I wanted to share the same scripture in the complete Jewish because wow. I thought that was a really good word. Um, uh, so that was uh, Deuteronomy 31 5. Adonai will defeat them ahead of you, and you are to do to them just as I have ordered you to do. Be strong, be bold. Don't be afraid or frightened of them, for Adonai, your God, is going with you. Mm -hmm. He will neither fail you or abandon you. Mm -hmm. And then next, Moses um, and uh, Yahshua, and in the sight of all Israel, said to him, Be strong, be bold. For you are going with this people into the land Adonai swore to their ancestors. He would give them. You will be the one causing them to inherit it. For Adonai is he who will go ahead of you and he will be with you and he will neither fail you or abandon you. So don't be afraid or downhearted. Amen. This Amen. love of different versions will bring mm -hmm. out a different aspect of it and yet say the same thing it's um so praise the lord for sharing that because i i love to hear it in different translations but it all means trust the lord with all your heart and lean not in your own understanding and mm -hmm. always ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths um, mm -hmm. That is um, Proverbs 
3, 5, and 6. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, the, the word says, honor your mother and your father, and it'll be well with you. And, and I think this is one of the first promises with long life. And so uh, we have Bev's uh, father staying with us. We took him from Montreal rather than in a home, especially with the COVID mess. And God miraculously worked it out. We were able to fly to Montreal, sell his house, sell the furniture. Well, we donated the furniture, sell the car, or took the car back to the GM dealer, and they bought it back off of us and everything like that. So God moved through that, and we brought him, and he's staying with us. But unfortunately, he's getting slow now. And and he didn't want to move too much, so um, so we're kind of need a break. I, I don't want to say it the wrong way, but it is the reality is that you you tend to get a little worn down, and so Bev and I are switching back and forth. So I go up for three days to our little cabin on the lake there, and then uh, and then I come back here and look after Dad, and then Bev goes up there. So thank you, Lord, that uh, you know we pray that this does minister to him. And that uh, pray for him that his heart gets, you know, we'll pray for folks here, but his heart gets convicted. Um, that's just it. It's the leading of the Holy Spirit. It's not, it's not a religion. It's nothing. It, it's, it's a personal relationship with Jesus. And like Sister Marge shared and, and Bev shared about how God will not leave us nor forsake us. I mean, that's a promise in Deuteronomy. And the one I was sharing earlier was in John, the same thing that uh, God knows you by name, uh, John 3 and John uh, John chapter 10, verse 3, and John 10, 29, and that no man's able to pluck him out of his hand. So God has you in his hand. You just need to yield to him. And you know what? The worst thing of all this is pride. Our, our foolish self is pride. We're not willing to ask for help. And then that is sort of like that. I mean, how do you get to 93 without being very strong and strong-willed? So we're praying that, you know, there's a balance that Lord soften his heart, give him a heart of flesh that he does cry out to you. He does cry out to you because, you know, it's, 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 um, it's a hard thing to say, well, I can do it myself. And I understand that. I mean, that's why I say, how do you get this old without being that strong willed? My mother was like that before she passed away a couple of years ago. It was very strong and, and it was hard, but until she started breaking down and seeing that the end is coming and, you know, she's, she was 94 and uh, that I was able to share with her the like Romans 10, 9, 10, confess, believe in your heart, the Lord Jesus and confess him out of your mouth. There's an action that has to be done. Like a lot of people believe in God, but that's just it. Like I did long, you know, 40 odd years ago. I believe there's a God out there. I mean, how do you look around and say, you know, I don't want to get into, into whatever, you know, who made what and we're some zygote in some swamp that got zapped by electricity. I mean, that takes more faith to believe that that happened than an actual creator who cares for us and created us. But anyways, long story short, I knew there was always a God. It's called agnostic, I think. But, you know, it wasn't until I got that personal relationship that, Lord, I had to cry out to him. I said, Lord, I'm weak. And he said to me, when you're weak, I am strong, or he is strong if you will look for marvel of you. And that verse is like, wow, that was in Corinthians there. And so that's exactly what we need to do. You need to humble yourself before the Lord. Just ask him into your heart. And, and, and you know, it's not a big religious thing. It, it's, a, it's a heartfelt talk. You never had that before with a friend or your parents. I was never really that close to why well, I, I didn't have a father. How do I say he, he was out of my picture because of a family issue. But um, I never had a heartfelt talk with a lot of people. But, you know, I had a heartfelt talk to the Lord on, on, a, road, on a highway. You know, I was just like banging on the steering wheel saying, you know, I, this is enough. I can't do it. And uh, God rescued me. And so that's just it. We just call from him, call to him. The name of Jesus is above all names. We're just reading out there. Whether you know, And there's a lot of the Jewish folks who may be listening to this, and I believe this is it too. You know, like the, we're reading out the complete Jewish uh, version of the Bible. Yahshua, you know, whatever name, Jesus, Yahshua, Yahweh, you know, that is, a, that is the name above all names. Now, there are people called Jesus. I never knew that. I ran across a few people from uh, South America and actually, that was one guy in my class was called Jesus. And it's like, they call him Jesus, I guess, right? But uh, it was just like, uh, wow, that must be different. But, you know, but there is the one, the one true God, and that's Jesus. And that's the one you receive into your heart. 
and then you speak it forth. I believe, I receive, I confess, you know? You don't have to go through, you know, I like saying it this way, you don't have to go through a salesperson, you know, like a salesman, you go right to the seller, you go right to God and say, Father, I need you. You don't have to go through a third party or, you know, if you want to, you can, but realistically, it's between you and God. And that's where it all comes down to is your heart between you and God. And it is a freedom to be able to talk to the flock. And you know what? God's not nervous. He won't, you know, if you get mad and say, why? He says, he'll tell you. He'll say, you know, there's, you have to realize God loves you. That's the big one. That's, that covers everything. Why do things happen to, you know, bad things happen to good people? There is an enemy out there. There's somebody called Satan, the devil, and he's trying to blind your mind. He's got this like veil over your eyes because that's what happened to me. I had a veil over my eyes. And until I submit myself to God, I literally felt something fall off my face. And I thought, wow, I can see now my heart is lifted. That's the freedom that we have in Christ. And it's a spiritual thing. Of course it is. You know, that's why we have all these gurus and all these people out there because man is guilt, is built. You know, somebody said there's like a little vacuum in our heart that's the only God can fill. And we try to fill it with other things, whether it be drugs, alcohol, all the bad living we're going to try to do something. You got to serve somebody. It was that, what was the guy singer there? Dear, do you remember his name? Uh, Dylan or whatever. But um, he Bob says, you guys, Bob Dylan. Yeah. You got to serve somebody. And that's just it. We're, we're geared to be independent, but yet we're geared to worship our father, God. And if we don't do that, then we're going to worship. And that's, you see right now, a new religion out there, the green and all that stuff, you know, we have to look after earth. We are stewards of this planet definitely got to look after pollution all that but it's become a religion because it's filling that emptiness that void of talking to the one true god who would tell us hey live properly don't pollute and stuff like that but that's just it we're trying to substitute god with something else and it is another religion so why don't you serve the one true god the living god and his name is jesus and that's why you know put it this way when i was in the air force i swore a lot and it's still hard for me to say jesus christ he is the name above all names, but we swore so much that name. Why don't we swear somebody else like, you know, George or Frank or Tom, you know, like why don't we, it, there's something behind it. We're cursing and that's driven by the enemy. So even you think you got control in your life, you can't control this thing, the tongue. And that's what James likes. It. It's an unbridled, it's a hard thing to control. But why don't you submit it to father and say, I receive you, Jesus, Forgive me for my sins. I receive you. I believe you're coming back for me. You know, your tongue is just saying these words, but out of your heart, you'll speak these things and you'll see, guarantee you, this is a living word. You will see something happen. You'll see a deliverance. You'll see a lifting, like saying something came off my eyes and I started looking around. It's almost like, a, you know, how sometimes they say in drugs, you can see colors. Like my wife was telling about, you could actually see things flowing. Well, it's sort of like with me, except it was like a bright, I can see, wow. You know, I've been living in this darkness all his life. God is light, you know, and he will shine these things. So, yeah, get yourself a Bible. Start reading John. Get yourself a church. But the biggest thing is make sure that you are ready and right with the Father because he's coming soon. You know, I don't know. Is it today, tomorrow, next year, 100 years? But it's sure you can tell by the season, the trees, the fruit, it's getting pretty close. And so I pray that we, the people hear this message, they get ready for the return of the Lord. Because that's, that's really what drives a lot of us, is that we know that Jesus is coming back. And what a day that will be. You know, what a deliverance, what a freedom we have from that. And, you know, again, if you need some wisdom, I, like say, I, was, I didn't have a father, so I really didn't have anybody say, Tom, this is how you should do things. So I'm going through Proverbs again, even over 60 years old, I'm still going through here and thinking, wow. There's some, there's some gems in here that I wish I knew as a teenager. You know, I received Christ when I was 21, but I wish I would have known this then. That probably would have stopped a lot of hurts, a lot of hurts. And, you know, we're just talking about uh, uh, sharing. Like Brother told me sharing about uh, sharing there. Um, uh, pro here, let me do this. Proverbs 8, I just got it open here. Now, this is the chapter, you know, like say, you try to do a chapter day. Proverbs 8, uh, verse 17. Um, I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. And that is, that's the condition. We have to love God. I mean, that sounds so easy. It is. You love God. And riches and honor are with those and durable riches and righteous. Okay. My truth, my, sorry, my fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue better than silver. So 
This is the truth. It's better than gold. I tread the ways. Uh, I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of judgment. Here, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. Now, a lot of people say, "Well, you know, that's the TV evangelist. They're always asking for money." There's probably some truth in that. I mean, they got a million dollar a day. You know, to keep these cameras going. So I understand the pressure on them, whether God ordained it or not. That's not true. But we can see in the word here that God wants to bless you. But what's the condition? You have to love God. Well, you know, it's not one thing saying, I know who God is, but you have to love God. And so right in here, that it may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I'll fill the treasures. And it goes on to that. And actually, what I do in my Bible, I write down the dates of these things. And uh, so here's 2010 when we were going through a financial trial. I wrote that in here, if I can say the camera there. And then the recent one we just had here, uh, January 3rd this year, I was up at four o'clock in the morning. And so I just flipped open the Bible. And, you know, you don't play Bible roulette, but it's so neat when it opens up here. And it says, those that seek me early will find me. And I says, okay, well, here I am. It's early. And he says, I will provide. He'll give us. He'll provide for us. So, yeah, you know, it, don't turn off when you hear that the Lord says to bless somebody or to give something. You will reap what you sow. And so it is good to bless. So, you know, don't worry, I'm not asking. But I'm trying to say there's the promise for you. Do you love the Father? If you will, then he will increase your substance. And God has been faithful to us. I mean, we go to home. We... You know, it's not, yeah, but it's not the substance that makes the Christian. Don't get me wrong. It's the blessing of being a loving Christian to the Father. Go ahead, sorry. I just wanted to add what you said about uh, loving the Father. We love him because he first loved us. Yeah. That's why we were trying to share how good God is. And he's so faithful. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I just want to add that. Amen. Amen. There's a, uh, let me bring in a couple announcements here. There are broadcasts every day at this time. Mm -hmm. uh, Walter uh, Zagrabich of Global Vision does have uh, uh, both Russian and Spanish. And uh, a lot of times it's translated, of course, in English as well. And uh, there, and everyone is invited to to all these uh, broadcasts daily. And tengo un gran gozo en mi corazón. I have great joy in my heart. Porque tengo Cristo. Because I have Jesus. No hay otro salvador. There's no other no savior. No hay otro sanador. No other healer. Jesucristo sin igual para mí. There's no one like Jesus for me. Si tú tienes Cristo en su corazón. If you have Jesus in your heart. Entonces tú, tú tienes gozo. You, you have joy. Porque tiene Cristo. Because you have Jesus. Uh, él vive en mi corazón. He lives in my heart. And este día. And today. Es su día. Is your day. Para abierto su corazón. To open your heart. Y para Cristo venga a tu Salvador personal. And for Jesus to become your personal Savior. Uh, ahora mi esposa. Uh, habla uh, un poco en uh, ucraniano. Slava hospital, bateri sastri, susti, shuchuy, slova boje, sehodne. Boh je dobre. God is good, and it's wonderful that today that we have an opportunity to hear the word of God. I know this, God loves you. Vin dao je hosena, shoba vin. God gave his son that you and I might have eternal abundant life. And today I love him because God is so good to all of us. And God loves you. So uh, even on a lot of the broadcasts, when it's in Russian or Ukrainian or Spanish, as Marge did the Ukrainian there, I did a little Spanish and she translated. Uh, it comes forth both in that language and in the English language. So that people uh, that, <laughs> by the way, it's one way of learning a, a language. Mm -hmm. Now, Marge and I, we, 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 we know several languages, uh, not like Brother Walder, who is uh, a, linguist. A, a linguist who's <laughs> able to do uh, uh, so many languages. Um, 
we're gra grammatically correct. We make mistakes, but we don't worry because we're talking to you about uh, the Lord Jesus Christ or, uh, oh, well, in English, of course, we prefer, we prefer that. And we want to say that God wants to do something for you. He wants to be a personal savior. You heard Tom talking about uh, finding Christ, not just the God of the heavens far off, way out in the heavens, but uh, he found him as a personal savior. I know uh, there's many people, the majority of people believe there is a God, but to them, God's off in the stars. He doesn't care, but he does care about you. He cares about every aspect of your life. And right now, and this is an opportunity for you to open your heart and your life and to receive him as a personal savior. You mean, you say, you mean that on a, on a uh, broadcast on the internet, I can receive Christ or on a recording off of YouTube or some other platform? Yes, you can do it because Jesus is with you. You say, well, if it's a recording, it's already happened. Uh -huh. But he's the great I am. He's the God of the now. He's a present help in the time of trouble. With God, there is no time. He is the past, the present, and the future. That's why he is the great I am. And right now, you can pray this prayer and receive him into your heart and life as a personal savior. And you can do it now. Because the Bible says, today is the day and hour of salvation. Now is accepted time. And if you will uh, pray this prayer sincerely, mm -hmm. it will open the, the door to Christ coming into your life and being involved in your life and in your home and family, if you permit him, because that's what he wants to be. He wants to forgive your sins. He wants to write your name in the book of life. He wants you to spend eternity with him. Are you ready? Now's the time. Pray this prayer. Lay your hand on your heart and pray this prayer. Say, Father in heaven. Father in heaven. I open my heart. I open my heart. And I say, Lord Jesus. And I say, Lord Jesus. Come in. Come in. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sin. I confess. I confess. I have sinned. I have sinned. I'm a sinner. I am a sinner. But you came into the world. But you came into the world. To save sinners. To save sinners. And I call on your name. And I call on your name. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Save me. Save me. Write my name. Write my name. In your book of life. In your book of life. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. From this moment. From this moment. To live for you. To live for you. To follow you. To follow you. To be what you want me to be. To be what you want me to be. Lord, I don't understand everything. Lord, I don't understand everything. But Lord, I know. But Lord, I know. If I follow you. If I follow you. You will help me. You will help me. Your Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit. Will be my teacher. Will be my teacher. So Lord. So Lord. I confess. I confess. With my mouth. With my mouth. And believe with my heart. And believe in my heart. That you died for me. That you died for me. That you rose again. That you rose again. And that Lord. And that Lord. You forgive me. You forgive me. And with your help. And with your help. I'm going to live for you. I'm going to live for you. Help me Lord. Help me Lord. If I slip. If I slip. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Oh friends, if you really yes. meant that, then Christ has come into your life. This is a beginning. Jesus says you must be born again. Uh, you can't be born physically again, but spiritually you can. And I believe this is your moment. Uh, do a couple things every day. Three things. Talk to God every day. Talk to him like a friend. That's prayer. Second, let God talk to you. When, when you read the Bible, especially the New Testament, that's God's perfect will for your life. Read it. And he'll speak to you. And if he speaks to your heart, it'll be uh, backed up by the Bible. And third, tell others and become part of a, a fellowship okay. of a Bible, that, a church that believes the Bible. 
and 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 you'll grow in the knowledge of the Lord. And and yet uh, he is also a healer and God wants to heal and deliver. And we're going to be praying in just a few moments as I turn it back to Brother Tom. And uh, uh, and we appreciate him. And we miss Walter and Nina, of course. And we pray for them and pray God's blessing on them. And uh, But uh, we, we thank God for Tom and Bev who are filling in for, for uh, mm-hmm. Walter and Nina and, uh, and their ministry. And remember uh, what, what's happening in Ukraine. Uh, so many uh, frontline announcements come from him and uh, uh, working with them and the great work that's been done. And uh, of course, uh, uh, tomorrow, I believe he's going to be back. So he'll, he'll be sharing a lot of things with us from over the weekend. Brother Tom, God bless you. Yes, thank you, Father. <laughs> oh, Lord, if you, if folks, if you've received Christ in that prayer that Brother Tony led us through, what a privilege it is. You know, you, you're being led out of darkness. You're being led into the light, the light of the word. And like his mentioned, read your word. That's our communion with the Father. And he left us an instruction manual. It's like when you work on a car. I don't know if you ever tried that. And it's it's how generally the joke is when in doubt, read instructions. So I tried that and then figure out well, why why is this not not working well? Is I need to read the instructions. And so read your word, read a chapter a day. You know, there, there's no whatever there's no rush but it's a good way to benchmark yourself and like i say if you want to do proverbs a chapter a day it'd be great that way go ahead uh bev dear i just want to thank you tony and marge for sharing jesus um i know i'm speaking for all of us when i say the best thing we ever did was give our heart to jesus Mm -hmm. he is so faithful what a faithful Oh, good, 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 good father we have, that he sent his son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And and you can trust him. There's things in this world that you're trusting in, they'll never do what God will do in your life and your eternal life. Sister Bim, I just thank the Lord for uh, our spirits are one because when we both got the same scripture, that doesn't happen very often. But, you know, God is on the throne and God sees what you need today. And yes, Sister Bev, it was a wonderful time. I gave my life to Christ when I was eight years old. I wow. knew that I was born again of the spirit. I went to school, told my friends about Jesus the next day. I knew it. And I and. Jesus was with me in all my life, in all the dealings, in all the workings, and in my jobs that I had. He prepared jobs for me. He took care of me. And hasn't he taken care of all of us? Doesn't he love us with such a great love that we can't understand that love that he has for us? It's an everlasting love. It's a love of God, greater far than tongue or pen can ever tell. It reaches to the highest star and down to the lowest hill, the love of God. Yes. Amen. 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 I I loved uh, one lady's testimony that she was God's favorite. Well, God, we are all God's favorites. And he treats us that way. He's such a good God. Yes. And he doesn't prefer one of us over the other. He loves us all. Amen. Amen. Sorry, I was just highlighting my uh, instruction manual here. Um, <laughs> salvation is just the start and some of you folks may have been saved for a while but it's just plateaued it's like a, a glass ceiling and that's what religion does for us and sadly there's a lot of religion out there god wants to take you farther he's calling you yield to the holy spirit and the verse that came to me, that's why I, I was surprised I didn't have it highlighted. But again, it's a manual, so I'm highlighting it. It's in the book of Acts chapter 19, where uh, Paul and Silas um, were coming across. Did I got this right? I hope so. Paul, anyways, Paul's coming through. And he came across some disciples in Ephesus. And he says, uh, have you heard or received the Holy Ghost since you yet believed? 
And they said unto him, we've not heard such a thing as there be any Holy Ghost or what we say nowadays, the Holy Spirit. And he says unto him, then where are you baptized? And he says, well, they're baptized with the John's baptism. You know, John was baptized into the repentance one. And then Paul says, verily, uh, John baptized with the repentance, saying that the people, they should believe on him that should come after him. That's, so that's the baptism of repentance. And when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. So they were water baptized as well. And then Paul had laid his hands on them. The Holy Ghost came upon them. They spoke, spoke with tongues and prophesied. And then all the men were about 12. So the people received that. So there is a, a verse for you. And again, take off those denominational stained glasses. You know, just, just look to the word, the light of the word. And that's probably why things aren't working. I mean, there could be a whole slew of stuff. But the simplicity of Christ. Have you received Christ? Yes. Okay. Have you been water baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus? Hmm. Okay. Well, I was baptized as a baby. It, baptized means immersion, put into the water. So that's another thing. Have you been water baptized? Have you been baptized with the Holy Ghost? And again, that is in the word. And it says right there that all three of them were done. The baptism, the, rep the repentance, the baptism in water, and the baptism of the Holy Ghost and speaking in a new language. This is a promise for you. And this is where a lot of Christians are falling short. The power of the Holy Ghost is not with them. Oh, yeah, you're going to heaven, and that's cool, but there's more for you. And that verse there, if you need it again, it's in the book of Acts, Acts 19, chapter 19, verse 2 to about 5 or 6, 6 we'll say, that there's the three steps of it. <clears throat> Don't worry what the denominations, that's why the denominations are not doing good. They refuse the power. And, you know, when you refuse the power, what's left? A dead word. This is why this is a living word the Holy Spirit will bring to remembrance. Like, like when Sister Marge was sharing with that, it says, oh, yeah, hey, yeah. Let's not forget about the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's a promise for you and I. And you know how I did it? I was scared because I didn't know how to do it, you know, because I heard all these different ways. I just got on my knees. And that's the whole point about humbling yourself before the Lord. He will lift you up. Humble yourself before the Lord. And what I did, I says, it's, it's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. So I'm not going to argue whether it's for, you know, the dispensation of the apostles or, you know, things are done. And, and when you ask the Lord for something, he's not going to give you a counterfeit. He's not going to give you a serpent. He's not going to give you a rock. He's going to give you the real thing. I hate to yeah. use that saying from a soft drink, but that's just it. He's going to give you that. So let's pray also, not just for the moments of salvation, but praying for the baptism. If you've not received this info, this, you know, it's like a sandwich. I, I know, I like simple. And this is what one minister told me. It's like a sandwich. Hmm, smells good and it's good. But is that better when it's inside of you? So partake of what the Father has for you today, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So yes, you're saved. So I'm going to pray now for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Then we'll come back and we'll pray for the prayer request. But I just felt in my heart, this is sometimes, you know, we're going to keep the balance here. You got saved? Okay, the next step is the water baptism or the baptism of the Holy Spirit. You've seen them and this will happen. So let's do it right now. Let's go and pray for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Father, you say in your word, we just saw this in Acts 19. Lord, that I'm a believer. I have received you. But what is this baptism of the Holy Spirit? Like they says, we've not heard this Holy Ghost. So I, I speak, Father, that these people who are listening, that if you've not received the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, now is the time to, like Sister March says, now is the day to do it. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I receive this gift that you've given me. I receive this. And when somebody gives you a gift, what do you do? You say, thank you. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I say, thank you for this gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for this new supernatural language that speaks unto me. Jude says, when you pray, you pray in the Holy Ghost. It's something that you can't make up, but you're praying directly to the Father. You're building your faith with that. Hearing the word here builds your faith and so praying. So as you get baptized, so just simply say, I receive now this Holy Ghost, this, this gift you've given us, Father. In Jesus' name, just, just let it come out of you. Like, uh, spring up a well, this log jam. We rebuke these log jams, any demonic or anything that's trying to hinder this infilling of the Holy Spirit. Lord, in Jesus' name, by the precious blood of Jesus and the power of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be baptized in the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. And just come forth. Just, just start saying, I, like I said, I knelt beside my bed and I, I was expecting some big 
angels and stuff like that. To, you know, and it just very slowly came out of me. And it's like, what was that? Oh, praise the Lord. That's it. And I just went going. So just keep son. Just just believe that the infilling of the Holy Spirit and speak this new language that God's given you. And you'll be you'll be encouraged that God is using you to speak to himself and speak to yourself, build up your faith in Jude 20 does that way. So amen. That's uh that's a blessing for you. Go ahead. Amen. And I just wanted to add to that. Uh, Thank you, Father. The Thank word you. says, be led by the spirit. And that's what God wants. He wants mm. to lead us and guide us and direct us in the way we should go. And also, um, the other scripture that came up to me was that if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the lust, the lust of, the of the flesh. We, we want to be set free from the flesh and walk in the spirit. Thank you, Tom. Amen. Amen. Brother Tony March. Well, we're ready to pray for the requests. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Praise the help? Lord. Uh, Brother Tom and Sister Bev, you know, as you were speaking about the elderly people having a place to go, and there's people that we know of that are looking for a place for their parents and for their mm -hmm. families and that have dementia. And uh, I think uh, before perhaps Tony will take some, the request after, but I'd like to pray, especially for these people, the seniors, because we yeah. are seniors and, but God is good to us. He's given us all of his blessings. And, and so, but I want to pray for these that are unburdened about, uh, unconcerned about their homes and looking mm -hmm. for a place for them. Uh, there's some in Canada, some in the States, and, and other places that you were listening, perhaps in Nepal, your senior parents, your families, and all of the countries, uh, the nations of the world, you're, you're caring for your, some of you have them in your seniors, your parents in your home, and you're caring for them, but sometimes it's not possible to look after them, and so there's, there's places for them that can take care of them and to their needs. So uh, let's pray right now, especially for these in Jesus name. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring these seniors to you, Lord, that we have been concerned about. Lord, Father, we pray for them. Lord, those that like we pray for uh, Bev's father, Father, in Jesus name, prepare a place for him, Lord, and that he will be taken care of and his personal needs would be taken care of. Father, in Jesus name, just lead and guide by your Holy Spirit, Father, and in Jesus name, we pray for our friends in Canada, for Esther and Walter, Lord, we pray for a place for them, Father, in Jesus name, Lord, just undertake for them, Lord, in Jesus name for Jeanette and George, Lord, and their, their needs, Lord, and healing in their bodies, Lord. We ask for healing in their bodies. And Lord, we pray for all the seniors and all, Lord, you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. And so you're with these seniors that love you. And Lord, bring them all to you like uh, Bev's father, Lord, we claim him for your glory, for him to just be a, a child and say, Lord, I know that Jesus died for me. I want to be your child. Let him just surrender to you in Jesus' name and others, Lord, that are in that position, Lord, where they've never asked you to come into their lives. Lord, and seniors and relatives, Lord, that don't know you yet, Lord, we pray for them in Jesus' name and friends all over the world. We bring them to you from all the nations, Lord, in Jesus' name, for you care about each one. Lord, we thank you that you're moving you're preparing a place for them you're preparing their hearts to receive you as their savior oh father we ask this in the name of jesus lord in jesus name and we thank you lord that you're moving lord let many receive you today that heard the word of the lord as we all shared the word of the lord just bless each one in jesus name and father in the name of the lord jesus christ we pray for the people of ukraine Lord, you see the bombing is still going on. Lord, we thank you for some of the grain ships that are uh, going out. But Lord, there are hundreds, there's millions of tons uh, 
of oh, grain that need to feed the people of Africa, Jesus. Lord, uh, people in India and different parts of the world. And Lord, you see how much is going to go to waste uh, uh, hundreds, uh, thousands and thousands of tons of grain, and Lord, uh, that can feed people. And Lord, we ask that you'd loosen uh, uh, the, the, the embargo that uh, the Russians are putting on. They're not letting them go out oh, but only a God. few ships but in lord Jesus let this grain name. get out in there Jesus to feed the people oh, and then lord we pray Jesus for all the ministries God. lord oh, uh, that uh, global vision uh, is Jesus. assisting uh, oh, lord uh, uh, we pray oh, for them in uh, Harkiv uh, in uh, Donetsk name. lord uh, and in Zaporizhia and, and uh, Lord, uh, we go on and on. You know each one of them, uh, Lord, in Jesus' name. And, and Lord, spare lives, we pray in Jesus' name. Uh, and Lord, you see those that want to be loosened from bondage, uh, those that are prisoners, uh, we pray for them. Uh, we pray that there would be a great revival to sweep Russia. Lord, that you'd save the leadership uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, uh, and that you'd give leadership guidance and direction uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, and Lord, we not only pray that a great, great revival would sweep uh, across the Russia and Ukraine uh, and all the Slavic countries, Lord, but across Western Europe, uh, across Africa, Lord, across the Australia, New Zealand, Lord, uh, and the islands of the sea. Uh, we think of Latin America, South America, Central America, the Caribbean, Lord, uh, and then across Asia, Lord, uh, in Japan, uh, uh, Lord, the believers there are counting on a great revival. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus uh, for the persecuted in, in China, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, and that uh, across that nation, Lord, uh, we know there are many being saved every day, thousands are coming to Christ, but Lord, uh, you see uh, the enemy there uh, uh, covering uh, 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 Taiwan with all those rockets and so forth, Lord. Uh, Lord, undertake in Jesus' name and protect uh, uh, Taiwan. Uh, and Lord, uh, we pray for the Philippines uh, and we pray for uh, uh, all the countries and islands. Uh, Lord, I think of the Muslim countries, uh, Lord, uh, there in uh, Indonesia, Lord, in Papua New Guinea. Uh, Sri Lanka, Lord, Bangladesh, uh, India, Nepal, uh, Pakistan, uh, then all the uh, Arab countries, Lord, uh, and we pray for Israel, Lord, uh, they're, they're counting on the Arn, Arn Dome to keep them, but Lord, uh, they need the hand of God, uh, and we pray that revival, we thank you, there are many coming to Christ, but Lord, uh, we pray that there be peace in Jerusalem, uh, and Lord, by saving uh, all the peoples there. And Lord, uh, we pray for America. We pray for Canada. Lord, uh, we pray for all of North America. And in the name of Jesus, uh, that salvation would come. And then, Lord, for the requests that Global Vision have received, uh, the requests that we have received, Abundant Life uh, Crusades have received, Lord, uh, Lord, you see all those just alone with cancer, Lord. Uh, oh, God, we curse that cancer. Those with COVID, uh, Lord, those with problems and situations. Uh, Lord, you see the text, the the uh, the email, the, the letters, Lord, uh, phone calls. My God, uh, we send the word of healing and deliverance uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and you said, pray one for another. And Lord, and we could start naming some of the people out there like Kenny, Lord, uh, yeah. and uh, Lisa. Lord, we go on and on with the folks there that have a need. Uh, but, Lord, you know each one of them uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we thank you. Uh, we, Lord, we thank you for the testimonies that yeah. we have received. Uh, yeah. Lord, you are answering prayer. You are moving. Uh, and, our, and the news reports prove to us that you are moving by your spirit uh, and your power. And Lord, we just pray 
to be a worldwide revival. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Uh, yeah. Lord, we love to see you come uh, uh, soon. But Lord, uh, as you are preparing to come, let multitudes, multitudes uh, come yeah. into the yeah. kingdom. Uh, and I think of what uh, uh, we, we have been praying, Lord, and seeking you for. Uh, and Lord, but what Tom had mentioned, uh, Lord, there's more than just receiving Christ. Uh, Lord, we are all called to serve to serve you uh and lord that is to share the gospel with others uh in the name of jesus uh, lord that our families would be saved uh, lord that our neighbors would be saved uh, that our enemies would be saved uh, in the name of jesus uh, because lord it's not your will that any should perish uh, but all come to repentance uh, and so we send the word, we bind the demonic powers, uh, we bind the prince of the power of the air in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Lord, come quickly, come quickly, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we pray, Lord, that for global vision, that you use it for your honor and glory. We pray for Walter and Nina and their family that yes. you minister to them, O oh Lord, uh, and to everyone that watches this, Lord, no matter what platform it is, uh, uh, in Jesus' name, uh, and no matter what language also, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, you can even cause people, uh, Lord, that are just browsing uh, on one of the platforms, uh, in yes, the name of Jesus, uh, and they'll and 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 it may not be even a language you understand, uh, but you can cause them to understand it uh, and be saved uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, so we give you the honor, the glory, the praise, because it's you, Lord. It's you that has the power in Jesus' name. Amen, Brother Tom. So I have to unmute myself. Yes, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. The verses that I, the word, the living word, and the verses I wanted to encourage you folks with. We are praying for you, because Brother Tony just shared that. Pray for one another that you may be healed. But look at it. Let's go to James. That's where he's he's quoting from. Uh, James 5, uh, 16. It says, confess your faults to one another. So there is a condition as well. And this is that humility, you know, you want us to pray, and we are praying, but the condition is you got to humble yourself, confess your faults to one another, pray for one another that you may be healed. And that uh, the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man avails much. That's the promise in the word here. But what's the condition? You confess. You confess your fault and don't have to do it to us. I mean, we said God got rid of the middleman. He doesn't need somebody. You go directly to the Father, but it's good to humble yourself. Now, don't tell everybody your problems. I don't want to hear it because I got my own bowels. But, you know, any sick among you, let them pray. You know, pray for one another to be, be healed. That's that's why we, we just read that. But confess your faults and pray for one another. So you folks have to pray for us because maybe that's why you're not being healed. You're always going one way. God needs both ways. He needs us to talk to him. We have to listen to him. And we have to listen to each other and pray for one another. So there's one reason. There's one condition. Uh, James 4, um, James 4, 7. Um, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he flee from you. There's another problem that maybe some folks are having. You're always asking, oh, God, help us. Oh, he hears you. But there's a condition. You resist the devil and you have the authority of the believer. See, he's screwed your head up. The devil has screwed up your head and says, yeah, I'm bigger than you. I'm No, he's a created being just like you and I are, except we know we talk to the father. And so what does it say right here? Submit yourselves, the humility, submit yourselves to God and resist the devil. Some of us are not resisting the devil. We're all like, oh God, oh God. No, he says, step forth. There's the verse for you. So if you need that verse, James 4, 7, speak these things. Speak. You have that authority. And then finally, uh, verse uh, 4, 10, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, because this is what we were sharing earlier. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Now, if that's not a God talking to us about being humble before him and resisting and praying for one another, there's your conditions, you know. I mean, you can't just do halfway. So God has got you in your country, and I love it how the, all the brethren and and, and uh, um, Brother Walter and Sister Nina, you're praying for all these nations, like, that's fascinating. 
but God has got you in your country to be a representative of Christ. So you pray for your country and watch how God moves. He needs, if I can say this way, he needs an ambassador. And you're that person. So you have authority. I just read to you here, you can resist the devil. I just read to you that, you, you know, you confess your fault, pray for another, you'll be healed. There's the conditions for you. So God has got this promise in his word. His word is true. And he honors his word above his name. He will not. Tear. He loves us when we quote the word to him or to the devil or whatever. I mean, what did Jesus do when, when the devil took him up? And the, he says, cast yourself out. And, and then Satan, he screwed up Psalm 91. But he was quoting the word. So it's not quoting the word. It's the faith of who's behind it. And Jesus said, thus saith the Lord, or the, uh, the, the word says, you know, you should not tempt the Lord. So he quote the word to the, to the devil, quote the word to that cancer. In Jesus' name, I am healed. I've confessed my sins. I confess these things. I'm praying now for Brother Tony and Sister Marge, say if you want, or, or Brother Walter and Sister Nina, if you have Tom Beth. You know, I'm praying for them. So I'm fulfilling the condition here, praying for one another that you may be healed. It has to happen. Why it doesn't happen? That's something we'll find out one day. But for now, where God has you right now, he has you reading the word and the word is being read to you and the word won't return void. So there's the condition. Submit yourselves to God, resist the devil. So God has placed you in your country. Speak again. You know, I, I pray for Nepal. I pray for Cuba. You know, and, you know I, I wish I could name them off. I have a list here, 200 different countries on stuff. But God has got you in that place for the reason because obviously I can't. And, you know, it's not a one-man show. God is using all of us. It's a simple faith of speaking it forth because we saw it in the word. We're going to speak it forth. So if I can encourage you um, that God will do these things, you just have to take that step of faith. It's, it's just a simple little step of faith. It's not a big, huge thing. It's just saying, I believe. I will now submit. I will now resist the devil. He will flee. And this sickness will go because I'm praying for others. There's, there's a couple of verses for you. Believe that this is just a small step and that's all you got to take. You know, it's, you know, God, you take one step forward. God will take like a dozen to get to you. It's like, remember the parent, the prodigal son where he saw his, the father saw his son coming back and he ran to his son. He didn't wait till he came out there and says, okay, what's your issue? No, he ran when he saw his, but what did the son do? He says, was not better with my father's place. And he turned around and went back home. And the father saw him way off, that parable of the, the parable son, uh, prodigal son, sorry. That is us. Turn to God. Humble yourself and go towards. He'll come running towards. Oh, man, this is a blessing. He'll come running towards you. Trust in that. That's where our faith is. That's what faith is. It's in like Bev's uh, reading the Jewish uh, version of the complete Jewish Bible. And where they have the word faith, it's the word trust. So trust in God. And Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, she quoted earlier, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean on to your understanding. That doesn't mean be mindless idiots, but just say, I know that my fear is all up here, but in my heart, I know God said that he will provide for me. He'll protect me. He will heal me. Take that step and confess, speak these things forward. God will do that. And you know what's better? you will now be able to teach others how to do that. It's one thing to have us pray for you because it says pray for one another, but what does it say before? Confess your faults, but pray for one another. But before you get to that point, you have to believe that God hears us. So God is hearing you right now, your cries. I mean, you're listening in on this for a reason. So God hears you. He, and I shared you that in John there. So I haven't gotten memorized yet. Uh, John chapter 10, verse three, he knows his sheep by name. And then like say John chapter 10, 29, he will not let you out of his hand. He will keep you. It's your faith that will be in that spot there. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean on unto your understanding and all of your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. And how we do that, that's what we prayed for the Holy Spirit. He's your comforter and he's your guide. So I pray that these verses in, in like I say, there's a whole, this is like a full meal deal here. You know, you go, you go, you get the fries and all that. Well, you're getting everything today. You're getting, you're getting the salvation. You're getting healing. You're getting the baptism of the Holy Spirit and you're getting the authority that you've been blinded to. God has given you the authority in the name of Jesus. Everything has to kneel. That name of all, that's the name in heaven that we're going to hear and be worshiping. Every knee will bow and has to bow to the name of Jesus. And Jesus is the word. In John, there was it 117 where that the word became flesh, the word. So Jesus became flesh and he dwelt among us. So let's just believe that. So I'm encouraging you folks that God has you where you're at. Speak forth in faith. You know, it's good to have people pray for you, but it's your turn. 
You have to pray for other people and you have to speak forth. Resist the devil. He will flee in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. We went a little bit longer. Um, so yes, pray for the nation. Ukraine, Taiwan. Let's pray for Taiwan. The, 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 there'll be wars and rumors of wars. That's what was coming to me when we were praying about that. It's not the end yet, but it's getting close. But we're going to hear these wars. And so pray for the people there. They're protected. You know, and pray for us. Pray for us that we're safe in this North American continent here and South America and all that. And again, you, God has you where you're at. And so you pray for your nation. And so God will protect you guys. Psalm 91, he that dwells in the shelter of the Most High. That's the condition. Dwell with the Father. And then he'll give his angels charge over you. So if I can encourage you guys, basically, um, thanks. Basically, that uh, trust in the Lord. That's the theme. And like say, you need to plug into the power source. Talk to the Father. That's the power. And the Father, the Word, the Spirit, the Father are one. They will not contradict each other. So what you hear, what you'll read, and what you'll see is all the same. That's the beauty about that. And just like how uh, the sisters were sharing how they had this, the same verses. That's how God moves. He'll confirm in your heart. And God's talking to your heart. Confirm in your heart that this is true. The Word is true. So God will protect you. So, yeah, amen. Seek the Lord, trust in him, but don't just stop there. Get the baptized Holy Spirit, get baptized in water, speak these things forth, resist the devil. He will flee from you. That's a promise. Once again, if you need that in John's uh, James, book of James, if you need to flip, it's near Revelation near the back end. James 4, 7, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee. Draw nigh to God, and he'll, hey, I didn't miss it. There's a living word. There's another verse for you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Remember I was talking about that? Cleanse your heart, cleanse your hands, but draw nigh to God. The, he'll come running towards you, but you got to take that first step because that's a willing heart, and that's just it. So um, if, uh, do you want me to sign off here, or do you folks have anything else to share? Let's say time to go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we always quote that verse. Jesus Christ, Christ is, is the same, same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and, and forever. forever. Amen. The Lord bless you folks, and I uh, hope we've given you a lot to, to chew on, but hang on. Hold fast to the word. God is faithful. Come back tomorrow. I think Brother Walter's back, and like, he, like Brother Tony's mentioning, uh, it's Spanish. It's in Ukrainian. There'll be translations that way. Um, anyways, um, just trust in the Lord, and Again, thank you for the privilege of being with you folks. And um, I think Wednesday, are you guys back on Wednesday? Tony March? Yes. Yeah, they'll be back on Wednesday for them. So yeah. Lord bless you folks. And uh, we will meet you here, there, or in there. Amen. Okay, so I go like this. <laughs> wave, wave, there we go.